Uh, Reina Dowdian joined us for the 2020 residency. She is a public health nurse by training. Now she works to share dream stories. I love that word, dream stories. Bridging via intertribal canoe building and expands the work of a healing canoe addressing post-traumatic environmental trauma with hopes to heal ancestral trauma passed on over generations of colonialism. She is a novice carver of a 22 foot red Western cedar dugout, double outrigger canoe and the vision holder and co-founder of Baliksa Dagat Banka Journey. I had to practice saying that multiple times. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's have Reina come to the stage. Hi everyone, thank you Aaron, Cynthia. Um, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you good. Great. So, hola, welcome to all. Maayo, tuloy po kayo. I'm excited and nervous, um, so I'll do this as best I am able to. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, first, I acknowledge the original peoples of this sacred but stolen territories of the Chochenyo Ohlone. I acknowledge my indigenous teachers, young and old, my angels and babaylans, healers who have blessed me in my life and encouraged me to follow my dreams. And one of them is here on Zoom, Uncle Phil, thank you. With this precious eight minutes, I dedicate this space to my parents, Adelia and Laribo, and Papa Nestor Sr., my father-in-law, um, who was actually hospitalized this morning. Also to my siblings, I love you all and thank you. I acknowledge warriors and families fighting against injustices in the front lines and in solidarity with Black Lives Matters and indigenous resistance. I also dedicate this space to those killed by the brutality of racist police and to those who passed on during this time of um, current pandemic crisis because all sentient beings matter. Um, what slide we're on. Um, oh, next slide, please. I'm honored to be amongst the circles of hella sacred women of place of our own, saying yes together. Women that keep the heart fires burning, a place where creativity is at its peak and fullness. Next slide, please. I'm a survivor of survivors, a daughter of immigrants returning to ancestral lands unknown. I hope to fulfill my auntie role in honor of my auntie Haiti and auntie Matilda. Both were my grandmother's childless sisters. I am a wife, a caregiver to loved ones with chronic debilitating conditions, as well as a care receiver. Two and a half years ago, I lost myself in the darkness of brain fog related to a car accident that halted the life I once knew. I learned quickly how folks with invisible conditions go through dehumanizing loopholes in our systemic oppression of our broken capitalistic illness promoting healthcare industry. Last summer, I was fortunate to be a participant of an intensive chronic pain management program. And I relearned how to walk amongst the non-concussed non-TBI, traumatic brain injured world. Four days a week, five hours a day, for five weeks, I walked past the lovely mural that you see on the left side of the screen with images that resonated with my inner child. It reminded me of the late grandpa babe's dream of indigenous children gathering, singing and dancing on canoes at dawn to heal earth mother. It reminded me of, it reminded me of my dreams that I'd forgotten. Synchronicities indeed, I responded to a Facebook post by Barbara, a call out for place of her own 2020. Next slide, please. I'm learning more deeply about this radical act of self-love and self-care. And today I am so blessed and grateful that behind this adorned vagina warrior face mask, I speak with clarity 
I write with coordination. I breathe life together with you right at this moment in, in time. And that's a beautiful thing. Next slide, please. Ella's sacred women circles supported me to consecrate into volcanic, volcanic fires, guilt and shame passed on to descendants of ancestral rape. My maternal great-grandmother's grandmother is one of twins that had a child with a padre, a priest, ancestor. The photo above in the middle is my mom's mom, Lola Nening, holding me and my twin sister in her arms. We are twin descendants of twin Islander women matriarch from the island of Bohol. There are plenty juice stories of this Padre's family tree, from pad this Padre's hungry ghost that traveled by way of the Pacific Ocean through the galleon trades um, in the Manila Acapulco galleon trade routes in the 1700s, where the foreigners raped the lands of the islands and also its indigenous inhabitants. This links me back full circle here, being in this land, in hopes to learn more about my ancestors on this side of the continent. Today, with much respect, I greet my maternal ancestral lands and waters. Hola. Que tal? I welcome relations that I have yet to meet that are settled here in the Bay Area, and some may be uh, virtually viewing with us today or tomorrow. This is from the Salsa de Berenguer de Marquina clan. We are descendants of Mexican Otomi Abuelita Alta Gracia de Tequila, Jalisco, Mexico. Next slide, please. A place of her own gave me building blocks to safely express my authentic beauties. There are many layers in this heart work using repurposed items, but quickly and briefly, I'll introduce the canoe family. Lola Balanghai and her photo taken in 1899 is one of my twin matriarch who embraces in her arms in a bed of, um, in a bed covered in a soft blanket of the blues of the water and the blues of the skies where a little girl canoe sleeps and rests her weariness from carrying the, heavy, the heaviness of the hungry ghost of the past on her chest. On dreaming, she emerges as a queen canoe dream a dream weaver with an activated dream power paddle. And thank you to Uncle Blue Jay, the ring man of a tribal canoe journey. I've got my paddle done this time. So to answer the question, what would my place of my own be like? It's a place of sanctuary, a safe place where I set the pace for my own healing, where I breathe love, I breathe hope, I breathe abundance place where respect for women and consent is the norm. The sick are cared for without having to beg for help. This sanctuary is well, is well protected with sheer strength of majestic crystalline horses as big as the Bay Bridge with their main beautifully shining rainbow prison hues. And with a herd of giant horse beings facing east right behind her, next to her, all around her, loving and caring for each other. It's a playground where universal canoe journeys in the cosmic galaxies, traveling through a timeline of pre-colonial spaces where the air is crisp and abundant waters are sparkling clean. Next slide, please. I pay tribute to working brains and teeny, teeny tiny atlases that balances the skull and links to the neck and spine. Amazing our human bodies are, and I love you. When I go deeper into the golden spine of my Maj Podge dream power paddle, at its core is a solid Visayan warrior's sword. So with my dream power paddles, I invoke spirit guides to create new grounds for more love, clear out injustices and spread new growth for the, gener for the greatest freedom, the true self. Hawk brother says to fulfill to find true fulfillment and beauty, understand your attachments, own them, accept them, be proud of your accomplishments, then release them. Freedom comes when you belong, when your belongings no longer own you. I am as I am free, 
as I step into my name as Reina Anlibay Daudian, you may call me Rad for short. I stand my ground and, my, and by doing so invoke men that I love, my brothers, my sisters, my cousins, all my relations to take responsibility to heal and move on towards freedom, especially to create healing spaces of men by men for men themselves, because we need each other to heal together. We need each other to paddle through the oceans of the storms, but each one must do each of their own work themselves with integrity. Lastly, in my place of sanctuary, I invoke the power of elephant medicine, strong matriarchal bonds with deep reverence, great memory for loved ones and their ancestors and ancestral wisdom. Next slide, please. This is the final slide. So I ask you and I share with you, it's time to play, to sing and dance paddle songs. I am ready with my buksai, my paddle, my dream weaver power paddles. Will you join me with yours? In closing, a special thank you to my twin sister, Mike Seal, for gifting me this beautiful healing arts program called Place of Her Own. And a supportive and lover, loving Iroko Sijuno, my husband. I close with Grandpa Babe's wisdom to remember, for me to remember and for, to invite you to remember, to travel in the vastness of the river of the Milky Way and return as a dream, as a good idea, and always keep the window of the heart open. I, I dare to dream bigger than big. I am baby steps as I am giant leaps. Thank you for listening. Oh, thank you, Reina, so much. Oh, <laughs> I need to gather myself. Oh my gosh. Um, I think one of the one of the things that really stood out for me with Reina when I first met her was her soothing voice. Um, and just listening to her talking about her journey and um, I kind of felt like ASMR, you know, <laughs> it was very soothing for me to hear her. Um, and I just want to um, make a point about saying, you know, when, when we cry or when we exhale, that is our body in real time metabolizing and alchemizing something really important. Um, I think the colonized mind likes to say crying or tears are a sign of weakness. It is absolutely the complete opposite of that. So when you guys witness these women have a moment of an exhale or um, they're holding their breath because they're trying to get through their talk, but tears are coming, that is you in real time witnessing these women healing and having that be witnessed. That is the power of place. So 